Hello, my name is Snorf, and new Nintendo Direct got released today. It was all about Hyrule Warriors. So in this video, I will be rounding up all of the information that dropped from today's Nintendo Direct. But before I get into the information, there will be some music in the background. Normally, I don't put music in my news roundup videos. Do you want me to continue to use music in the background or do you want me to revert to how I used to do my news roundup videos? Just let me know what you want me to do in the comment section below. But before I get into the information from today's Nintendo um, Direct, we actually got some Hyrule Warriors details before. Um, so we got some Gold School Chillers details. So Gold School Chillers appear after meeting a certain requirement. They will show on the minimap with a spiderweb icon. The school chillers will run away if you don't catch them in time. When you get close to the area a school chiller is in, you will hear scattering sounds. Sometimes school chillers will be hidden under rocks which requires you to bomb them. Defeat a school chiller to get an illustration piece. Piece together the illustration pieces to make a complete illustration. There are 100 gold school chillers all together um, so the other day we also got some Hyrule Warriors online Nintendo network features this comes from the Hyrule Warriors box art so this confirms DLC because it says purchase of additional content which means that DLC will, pre will be present in Hyrule Warriors we already knew that before we also got some more details about DLC for Hyrule Warriors today I will get into that later on. Um, so there's automatic posting of play status to Miiverse. So Miiverse functionality has been confirmed for Hyrule Warriors. You can play special battle in adventure mode. We've got some more details about adventure mode today as well. Um, but there is no online co-op play. There's only local co-op play. So on to um, today onto the details from today's Nintendo Direct. So first off we got some general gameplay details. You're in a battle with a lot of enemies. You will not only battle with Hyrulean soldiers but also with other characters from the Zelda universe such as Zelda and Impa. They will talk to you and set new objectives during the battle. For example if Zelda is in trouble you have to run to where she is and help her. There is a minimap in Hyrule Warriors, allies are in blue, enemies are in red, also on the map there are boxes, they are keeps, when you start off these keeps will be controlled by the enemy, so on the minimap they will be in red. You have to capture these keeps to win, once you capture a keep they will turn blue on your minimap, once you have captured a keep your soldiers will spawn there. Once you have defeated a level in Hyrule Warriors, you will earn rupees and other materials. Items from Zelda are in the game. Sometimes you have to use these items that you find to defeat enemies. For example, on the first stage, Hyrule Field, you get given bombs. You have to use these bombs to defeat King Dodongu, just like in Ocarina of Time. Also, you have to use the bow and arrow item to defeat the boss Goma. Other items include the boomerang and the hookshot. Cuckoos are in the game. They will attack you if you hit them but in battle you can also use them to fight against your enemies. We also got a look at the playable characters in Hyrule Warriors. Um, we've already known this before but the playable characters are from Ocarina of Time, Twilight Princess and Skyward Sword. Zant will be playable, he uses his Shimita and can also grow huge. Girahim will also be playable, he focuses on sword play. You can cut grass in Hyrule Warriors to get items such as hearts. And we've got some details about weapon upgrades. As you progress through the game, you can upgrade your weapon. So Link, you can have the Fire Rod weapon. Zelda, you can use the Wind Waker button. Each weapon has a special attack, there's also a gameplay mechanic in the game called Focus Spirit, you can use it to increase your abilities, but you don't have a lot of Focus Spirit, so you have to use it wisely. Basically there is a gauge, 
um, a focal spirit gauge and you have to let it fill up before you can use it again. Bomb tubes are in the game. They are huge, unlike in Ocarina of Time where they were quite small. Um, their explosions can be used to destroy barriers. We've got to look at some more stages as well in Horror Warriors. We've got to look at Lake Hillier from Ocarina of Time, Twilight Field from Twilight Princess, Skyloft from Skyward Sword as well. And the Chain Chomp will be a weapon in Hyrule Warriors. We also got some details about character progression in Hyrule Warriors in today's Nintendo Direct. You can gain XP to level up your character. Some enemies drop materials which help you make badges and enhance stats. Longer combos, longer focus time and other things. You can also find new weapons in battle which have special skills. You can fuse weapons together to merge skills. We got some details about the adventure mode. It is a new game mode. So players are faced with a grid of challenges that looks like the map from The Legend of Zelda on NES. Once you enter a challenge, the game will revert back to the Hyrule Warriors visuals. You can search on the map to find secret treasure. Once you have found the secret treasure, you have to battle to win it. Each stage has different challenges to complete. Completing each challenge unlocks a new region of the map and a new level of adventure mode. Certain characters and weapons can only be unlocked in adventure mode. So if you want to unlock every single character and every single weapon in the game, you have to play adventure mode in Hyrule Warriors. I like that um, feature. I like how it encourages you to play other game modes as well. I like that. Of course, I will be playing adventure mode so I can unlock everything in Hyrule Warriors. Local co-op was announced as well. One player will be on the gamepad, one player will be on the TV using either the Wii Remote or Nunchuck or the Wii U Pro Controller. Screen resolution has been lowered for local co-op. Off TV play has been confirmed for Hyrule Warriors as well. Um, that is in single player as well so um, you can um, say like if somebody's using the TV and you want to play Hyrule Warriors only on your gamepad, you can. Um, so Hyrule Warriors launches on September the 19th in Europe and the 26th of September in America. Europe gets a limited edition that comes with a scarf. It's just a game with the scarf and it costs £50 from um, the official Nintendo UK store. I won't be picking up the limited edition. I kind of think that's a bit expensive just for a scarf and um, the game. Um, Ganondorf has been confirmed as a playable character in Hyrule Warriors as well. Um, there has been a trailer for Ganondorf so I will leave a link to that trailer in the um, description for you to check out. Ganondorf also has a Demon King costume set which will be available for Club Nintendo users. Once you register Hyrule Warriors between 19th of September to 17th of October you will receive a download code for the costume set. Um, that time period is obviously for European owners, I'm not sure about um, America. Um, also available are the Ocarina of Time, Twilight Princess and Skyward Sword costume sets. More details are to be revealed on how to get them in Europe, but in America apparently um, these costume sets are retailer based so if you saw like if you want to buy Hyrule Warriors from Best Buy then you get the Ocarina of Time costume set um, or GameStop you get the Twilight Princess or Target you get um, the Skyward Sword so I'm just using them as, as examples they haven't been confirmed yet but if you want to get a certain um, costume set then you have to buy it from a particular retailer in America so yeah, that's all of the details that I need to round up from today's Nintendo Direct. Let me know your thoughts about Ganondorf being a playable character in Hyrule Warriors. Let me know your thoughts about um, the new adventure mode. And also let me know whether you think that there is too much DLC for Hyrule Warriors already. I think we're going to be seeing a lot of costume sets and I think there might be a lot of DLC and I'm not sure if I'm a big fan of the fact that certain DLC is available to certain retailers in America 
think that is a bad idea. Um, so yeah, that's pretty much all we've got to talk about. If you find this video useful or informative, please don't forget to hit that thumbs up button. Please don't forget to share this video out to fellow Zelda fans on social networking sites such as Facebook, Twitter, Reddit and Google+. If you're new to my channel, don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more Hyrule Warriors news. Until next time, I'm out of here for now. Goodbye.